The purpose of this presentation is to clarify the different planes that we inject in, the intradermal, the subdermal, subcutaneous, and the superficial fat planes. So let's have a look at this picture here. It shows the skin and the fat. Let's for now ignore the muscles because in certain areas of the face, the muscles can be in different planes. So let's look at the fat and the skin. So here in this diagram again, it diagrammatically shows or represents the intradermal, subdermal, and the subcutaneous. Intradermal refers to injections within the skin. Subdermal refers to the area immediately underneath the skin. So it is below, just below the dermis. So here is the skin and then underneath it is a subcutaneous fat, which is the fat underneath the skin. When we inject intradermal, it refers to the area of injection within the skin. And when we talk about subdermal, this is actually the top part of the subcutaneous fat. And then of course there is the subcutaneous fat itself. You can refer to our video regarding the different in types of injections. Different depths of injections. This segment focuses on superficial injections on the face. The skin thickness is about two millimeters and note that needle width is about one millimeter. Intradermal injections are needed for intralesional type of injections, such as keloid. It is painful and the needle blanches. Subdermal injections are used for some soft fillers where one would inject for the improvement of fine wrinkles. Subcutaneous injections are commonly used in filler injections, and this is likely to extend much deeper into the subcutaneous fat layer. The subcutaneous fat covers the entire face. The names given, such as the malar fat, refers to the area, the anatomical area where the fat is. So some trainers refer to subcutaneous and superficial fat injections being the same thing. In summary, here are the layers, the intradermal, subdermal, subcutaneous or superficial fat. And in two and three, which is a subdermal and subcutaneous fat, the difference is simply the different depths of the fat.